Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about being strong. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of being strong is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 12. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of being strong is found in Isaiah chapter 40, verses 29 through 31. It says, He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Even the youths faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fall, but those who wait for Yahweh will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run, and not be weary. They will walk, and not faint. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 through 9. It reads, No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Don't turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed for Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Passage number 4. This is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. The scripture says, By reason of the exceeding greatness of the revelations, that I should not be exalted excessively, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to torment me, that I should not be exalted excessively. Concerning this thing, I begged the Lord three times that it might depart from me. He has said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore I will rather glory in my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may rest on me. Therefore I take pleasure in weaknesses, in injuries, in necessities, in persecutions, and in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 12. The Bible says, Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all those who are incensed against you will be disappointed and confounded. Those who strive with you will be like nothing, and shall perish. You will seek them, and won't find them, even those who contend with you. Those who war against you will be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of being strong, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on being strong. Passage number 6 is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. It says, Not that I speak because of lack, for I have learned in whatever state I am, to be content in it. I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In any and all circumstances I have learned the secret both to be filled and to be hungry, both to abound and to be in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 6 through 8. The Bible says, Be strong and courageous. 
Don't be afraid or scared of them, for Yahweh your God himself is who goes with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Moses called to Joshua, and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you shall go with this people into the land which Yahweh has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. Yahweh himself is who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of being strong is from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 19. It reads, For this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, that you may be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner person, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. To the end that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be strengthened to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and height and depth, and to know Christ's love which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verses 13 through 14. The passage states, Watch. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of being strong is from Psalm chapter 27, verses 1 through 3. It says, By David. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers came at me to eat up my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, even then I will be confident. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of being strong. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to being strong, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.